This presentation is related to the Michelson-Morley experiment concerning photons propagating through a medium called the ether. This experiment is comprised of using a laser and two circular mirrors in which one of the mirrors has a thin slit. The experiment starts with a laser beam passing through the narrow slit of mirror 1 and then mirror 2 reflects the laser beam back to the back side of mirror 1 out of phase. A second beam of laser light is also created from laser light reflecting from mirror 2's reflective coating. A closer view of mirror 2 shows a laser beam exiting the slit from mirror 1 and reflecting back to mirror 1. Additionally, another laser beam heads toward the glass corner of mirror 2, out of phase. The glass corner bounces the laser beam back to mirror 2's reflective coating which inverts the laser beam back to the original phase as it heads toward the back side of mirror 1. When the out-of-phase and in-phase laser beams meet at the back side of mirror 1 a circular interference pattern is observed. The circular interference pattern is also observed about 1.5 inches from mirror 1 but is not observed prior to 1.5 inches from mirror 1. The laser beams reflecting from mirror 2 produces a beam of light until about 1.5 inches from mirror 1, then a circular interference pattern is observed. The hypothesis is that when both laser beams reflect from mirror 2 the in-phase beam is slightly delayed due to the time taken to bounce from the glass corner and back to the reflective coating from mirror 2. The slight delay caused by one of the two beams causes the two beams to interact constructively. The out-of-phase laser beam and the in-phase laser beam after some time start to interact destructively, producing a circular interference pattern prior to reaching the back side of mirror 1. The additional hypothesis is that the ether wind reduced the speed of the out-of-phase laser beam which allowed the in-phase laser beam to align with it causing the interference pattern. The ether wind reduces the terminal velocity of electromagnetic energy, which propagates through the ether, when it is not disturbed, allowing the delayed, in-phase, laser beam to meet up with the non-delayed, out-of-phase, laser beam creating the circular interference pattern. The last hypothesis is that the Michelson-Morley experiment focused on the side movement of the laser beam if it interacted with the ether wind instead of focusing on how the ether wind affected the forward motion of the laser beams.